It's Tuesday, March 29th. I'm Natalie Morris, and it's time to get loaded. Amazon went ahead and launched its cloud music service called Amazon Cloud Drive. For now, this is only for music. It lets you upload all of your music to Amazon's own servers, and then you can play that music anytime you have a web connection or an Android device. It accepts AAC and MP3 formats. If you're not on a mobile Android device, you can play your music in just about any browser. You get 5 gigs of storage for free, upgradable to 20 gigs with the purchase of just one album. More storage can be purchased starting at $20 for 20 gigs per year. You can find out more at amazon.com slash cloud drive. Sprint would like to put the brakes on the AT&T acquisition of T-Mobile. This is a surprise to no one. Sprint released a statement this week that urges the U.S. government to block what they are calling an anti-competitive acquisition that would, quote, harm consumers and harm competition at a time when this country can least afford it, end quote. Sprint argues that the merger will undo nearly 30 years of work by the government to modernize and open the communications markets. The New York Times became a paid site this week. Amazon announced that customers who already subscribe to the paper through the Kindle can also read it on the internet. It isn't exactly free, just another part of the service that Kindle users already pay for. Facebook is going to continue renting movies after testing this last month. The new movies soon to be available in your Facebook account will be two Harry Potter movies, Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets, Life as We Know It, Yogi Bear, and Inception. These movies cost around 20 Facebook credits and you can access them within 48 hours of your rental. Netflix can now stream Paramount movies in Canada. This is a five-year deal that brings over 350 new movies to the service, in addition to exclusive subscription TV rights to all first-run films. This is more Paramount content than Netflix customers in the U.S. can access. Rumor has it that News Corp wants to give the online video site Vivo control of MySpace. Remember that News Corp put MySpace on the chopping block in February. Vivo is owned by three music labels, so their interest in the site would obviously be for music. If this is not a fit, rumor also has it that MySpace has had up to 20 other potential buyers all interested. That's your news of the day. I'm Natalie Morris for CNET, and you've just been loaded.